Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. This morning I'm going to be targeting Covids and wood pigeons due to a uh, general license fiasco. There are only two bird species that are currently on a list. I'll keep within the law, keep it ethical. Hopefully the uh, license is sorted out soon. So I'll target what I can. This is going to be being fueled from Ide. I'll be targeting that strand of trees in and other strand of trees to the left. Now for people that don't think crows kill other birds, songbirds, just take a little look at this video. It's a graphic video. As you can see, pigeon's still alive. Oh, it's nature. This is what crows do. Magpies, other covids, birds of prey. But if we are to protect songbirds, and we do what they do need controlling. Population's well out of control. And uh, hunters are conservationists regardless of what other people think. And we do a good deed for the countryside. This is hide from another view. I'm just where that pallet is inside that blue container. I'll just be poking my rifle and my camcorder out of that spot just there. Just got myself in position. Uh, something's caught my eye. It's a wood pigeon just to the uh, left of the camera shot. It's a couple of minutes this pigeon to settle. What a nice comfy shot. I take it clean with a nice head shot. I went straight down. I left pigeon where it landed. And uh, this farm cat turned up. Looks like it's heavily pregnant. Uh, end of session when I did good to recover wood pigeon. I think this uh, cat had a nice feed on it, I don't mind, it's got babies to support, so I hope it enjoyed its meal. First COVID at morning turned up in the uh, trees to the left, I dropped that crow nice and clean. Then turned my attention to uh, watching a bit of local wildlife, this is why I'm controlling COVIDs, house sparrows. The numbers are in decline all around country. And if we can help by controlling COVID, crows, magpies. The crows caught me eye. I'm going for someone on the top left hand corner of the screen. You can see that's a nice clean kill. Here's another crow. Wait much longer. Just wait for it to settle a little bit. It's here about 35 yards. I get some up in tree, but it's a nice clean kill. You know summer has arrived when you see your first swallows. This will have travelled from uh, probably the continent of Africa. So that has this journey to make its way to uh, UK mainland. It's just sun in itself. It's not very often you see them sat still. They always seem to be on wing. A beautiful bird, really colourful and lovely to watch them. I spent a few minutes watching this particular one. Pruning itself, cleaning itself up. What a beautiful animal. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, so I, I'd, I've noticed some at uh, in tree. I'm just getting myself ready. As you can see, I'm using uh, my Primos trigger sticks, Gen 2. I've got my camcorder mounted on top of the scope, like I showed you in a previous video. Here's Wood Pigeon. He goes back turn to me. And a slot of shot, a pellet straight at basic neck. A lovely clean kill. This is my last shot at session. It's a crow, high up in tree. This one's about 35 yards, same as one of the previous ones. You can see another nice clean kill. Hey up everyone. So last week I showed you where I uh, trimmed out a bit of space inside an ollie bush. Uh, for an eye for shooting magpies. What I've decided to do, because magpies, Covid's have got really good eyesight, I'm going to make a TP style hide using M3 fence posts, big piece of tarp, a knife, some tie wraps and I might need some string as well. Keep watching, I'll show you how it goes along. So all I've done, stood three poles together, I'm just lashed it at the top, quite crude, nothing spectacular, it should give me enough space, took myself in there, there's no need to cover the front, just need to cover the sides and back and make it waterproof for myself. I'll, uh, I'll strengthen that by using some tie wraps and I'll put these three like, ridges at poles through top at top and I'll secure them again with some more tie wraps. So that's it secured, some tie wraps. I'm just done that all the way around. Like I say, just tarp to go over. Show a nice waterproof shelter. So that's top. Cut it down to size a little bit. Just squared it off. And then just put an all in the middle so poles can go through.
So that's it nearly done. Tighten top a bit around bottoms. I can actually sit it under them legs once I plant it in place up at the farm. You see front end still covered at the minute, but it won't be because I'm going to cut that free and make that open. Top's all nice and secure. And I've just tie wrapped it to the legs at the bottom there, keep it in place. Same other side. And that's it. Probably took me about 15 minutes. Plenty of space in there. It's only really to stop me from getting backlighted. And if it does, uh, have a little shower. I can just dip my head into it. Middle of the eye. I'm all good. All I've got to do now is get this up to the farm. Put it in place inside the bush. And I'm done. I'm good to go. This piece of footage is from uh, a couple of weeks ago from a failed hunt. It's that area behind me where this side's going to go in place. Just stop me getting back lighted.